So hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is Naveen from UI Brains. Uh, so last video of ReactJS uh, video series is uh, so we have understand about uh, a conditional and looping. So how conditionally you will uh, render the data and also how to loop an array of content, right? So if you have if you if you observe this all these uh, examples uh, together. So hardly we have taken one component right so that component uh, only we have understand uh, state uh, props uh, and uh, uh, form handling and also conditional and looping so it's, it's just one about it just about one component correct so now uh, if you take a react.js application the so react.js application is a collection of components right so if you want to design any complex ui so it must be uh, a collection of components together working right so it's like a footer uh, header navbar whatever uh, the the piece of ui is one component right so all together components will be one application right so in developing of any application generally the case is it must be the data interaction between the components right so how uh, two components can be interacted because uh, to project such a complex data so it's not like the data coming from that particular component only displaying uh, what i mean to say is um, you will get data in one component and you will project data in another component it happens and data sharing also will happens okay so now in this video we're going to understand how can we exchange data between a components and uh, before you understand this concept the interaction between the components um, you need to know the architecture of every component so how generally the components can be connected together uh, if you remember any html dom structure how html dom structure is made like you have a top level html tag and two siblings body tag and header tag head tag and uh, below that you have a few other tags uh, as per your html code right so that is like a tree like structure and same like that in uh, react.js also all components can be connected in a tree like structure for example see in react.js we have a, a top level component correct uh, can you say what is that that is a app component correct so top level one is app component so for this app component only uh, anything will configure for example we configure a wish message we configure something else and in that you write one more and that you write one more in that you write one more like that and here and uh, here or here like that so you will connect the react.js components to one or other component and that is indirectly connected to app because app is the topmost component okay because they're all tags only na? okay so this is actually a, a react virtual dom which contains all the uh, our our user defined components tags okay so if it is connected like this like this so our concept is how can we a uh, transfer data between them so transfer is a sense i have data somewhere in the parent and i want to transfer to its child uh, a part of this concept we already discussed when we start with the uh, props concept right if you remember um uh, i told you like from parent how can you transfer data to the child right using props so parent to child uh, we know it's a direct transformation and we'll see the reverse also from child how to transfer data to the parent it's, it's like reverse process and also how to transfer data between two siblings okay so see all are just parent and child and also we have a siblings to transfer a data so let's see how that can be uh, happen this very crucial uh, uh, concept of react here. so we will understand now okay and it's very regular uh, scenario we have to use in react this application so let's start now so first of all so i have taken a backup i'll show you 
yeah so i have taken a backup of conditional and looping uh, you want you can take your source code as well and then i'll uh, delete the existing components and services app dot js i will delete uh, uh, the configuration fine and now i'll start the application okay and i'll say this react with component interaction okay yeah component with interaction uh, now what i do is i will create a new directory let's say components okay so in this i'll take another directory called basic okay the basic uh, example will start with oh it's been started no, still start okay fine it started uh yeah here we are okay basics in this i take two components one is parent and one is child okay so i create new javascript let's say parent component okay let's have a snippet as well parent component okay and next i'll take another one uh, why can't i copy this child component okay so i'll replace that with child okay and control r for replace okay uh, so parent component and child uh, component it's ready now what i do is i will uh, configure like this i will was app uh, in that uh, this is parent and here i'll take a child okay so as of now we will uh, only concentrate on this part how to transfer between two uh, it affects for everyone okay so parent to child and child to parent two way so uh, i go to app i'll configure now app uh, not app it's uh, parent component parent component configured now when you see the ui parent component has come okay so let me design the parent in that i'll uh, configure a child so let me take one container and uh, what else one row let's take some margin top three uh one single call md h one card just one card setup card body in that p dot h4 parent component okay so you have uh, A parent component ready now okay uh, can we give some color as well bg success and the text uh, white yeah that's a parent component inside i want to configure a child so i'll take a same card setup in the child i'll write down uh, let's say bg warning and by default it's just dark this is a child component okay uh, so child component one card parent component one card but when you see the ui only parent is there no child is there because because in the parent see observe very closely this is app root level right so in the app 
parent has configured as per the diagram par app parent parent configured under the app so if you go inside the parent there is no information about the child that's why nothing has been displayed so what i do is uh, in the card body within i'll configure child component inside okay parent inside one child as well now check see parent and the child uh, okay that's fine i'll just say text uh, dark okay so parent in that we have a child okay nice now my plan is uh, i want to transfer data from parent to child and then we'll see how to transfer data from child to parent okay so if you want to transfer data from parent to child so parent should have a data first right then you can transfer to child so i'll take a data and how you take a data using a state right or you can get it from the app using props i'll take my myself state uh, so using a use state hook so let some array is equal to use state uh, in this i have a state and a set state in this i'll take some uh, what you say message or just say channel okay channel ui brains technologies okay so i have taken a state with a name called channel ui brains technology so tell me uh, which state it belongs to parent state so parent state data you can display in the parent as it is correct when i write expression i say uh, uh, it's a uh, it's a functional right yeah so state dot channel so what happened you got ui brains technologies in the green one so you observe uh, green one is parent and this is child okay so i have taken a state of parent and i configured to parent that is very natural like you have uh, a component have its own state and you can display it uh, inside the same component it's a simple one right but the thing is i don't want to display this guy in here i want to display inside of this child so you have to transfer it okay of course you have data in the parent but i want to showcase on a child card so how you transfer tell me using props right parent to child anything you want to transfer is a simple props direct transfer so what i do is i have to give a prop it's like an attribute uh, what name you give uh, it is name channel you can give anything you can give abcd also you give abc is equal to something but to understand this i'll say uh, channel is equal to is equal to this channel this this data i'm sending right so state dot channel state dot channel so the parents uh, channel message has been sending to the child child uh, component through the property call again channel so this channel belongs to child's property okay this belongs to parents state data okay it can be state data it can be a property which received from parents parent okay so i just taken only one level state so uh, this channel is a child specific property so how can we access this channel in the child property is using props because the prop so how you receive the channel prop is you receive the props in the in the um, what's called uh, functions property okay argument and through that you can access the channel so props is an object so i want to display that so i just write a parent i mean paragraph tag props because the property which we have received dot channel because we have configured channel over there that is channel so now check see ui branch from parent has been received in the child correct you see 
parent is having u evidence technologies and child doesn't have anything but still it received through what props and how was this props configured in the parent like this and also it's not a um, there is no condition like you have to have a same name right if you give something called a b c so a b c is a property of a child so how you access a b c you just change this to a b c still then also you get a same data okay no error so you can give anything here but uh, generally people give like this because it's too easy to understand for any other developer because the coding which you have done um, is not only for you to understand uh, the other fellow developers also should understand your code right in company so that's how it is yeah so now we successfully understand how can we transfer data from parent to child okay uh, so enough for this video and uh, let's see in the next video how to make a reverse like uh, if you have some child specific data how i can send to the parent we'll see in the next video thank you